Good morning, y'all. Apple Jew here with another VOD review. Uh, today I will be VOD reviewing my really good friend, Unique Dream. Uh, she is playing, I believe she said baguette or um, brigetti or brigitte on King's Row. Um, I have somewhat limited experience with uh, with Brig, but I've got a decent win rate on her and competitive right now so uh um and i've watched some of the pros like mickey and them play so i've got an idea i might have some insights i might be able to kind of call out certain things um do keep in mind that this vod is from a stream so there might be some background talk there might be some uh things going on elsewhere um if the background talk gets a little too much i might just mute the audio uh, I don't really necessarily need the audio for uh, a VOD review. I mean, it's good to have the audio cues um, when I need them, but um, otherwise it's not that big of a deal. So anyway, uh, not much more to say about that. I'm going to switch it on over to this and let's get started. Um, Thomas knows your feelings on, uh, on LOL. Yeah. Like, week now, like... All right, let's see if we can go forward just a bit. Um, I want to get good with baguette, so let's let's do some. Yeah. I'm gonna want to see what your comp is here in a sec. So I see monkey. I see uh you have. Okay, here we go. Um, ooh, interesting. Okay, so you have yourself on uh brig. You have Moira. It's actually a pretty good support combo right there. Um, for DPS on defense, you've got yourself a McCree and a Torbjorn. And for tanks, you have Orisa and Winston. Um, I mean, it should work. It's a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. It's not horrible. Um, it's a little weird having two support tanks. Or not support tanks, but main tanks. Um, so that's a little strange. But... It could work. We're going to probably find out if it's going to work. Um, I think the main issue that I see is that if this is a Winston who likes to try and dive, which a lot of Winstons like to do that, um, he doesn't have anyone who can really support him in that role. Um, neither of you um, will be able to effectively heal him at range. Um, you'll have to use your E off cooldown and that's going to leave Orisa kind of, um, alone as the lone kind of frontline type tank. So very weird. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how this works. Um, but if your deep, if your McCree is good and he pops off, uh, it, this won't even matter. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I don't play ranked anymore league because I played it for so long and I feel a bit out of the loop so I don't really play it that much. I enjoy playing it, like the champion the champion kits are very unique and the the champion designs are always unique as well, so I always come back to it because you know it's addiction and that. I tried it once, never again. I know yeah. It was with me. My hair what champions do you play as Tom? Triple P, what do you play? All right, so looking at where your team is positioning, um, Arissa is kind of wanting to hang back and guard this corner here. Uh, that way they can um, rotate to the hotel if they decide to come to the hotel. Um, I don't know what your Winston's planning on doing. It's a little risky. Um, I'm assuming he's staying back so he can dive, but... Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a very weird comp. Um, okay. The enemy team's got a Reinhardt. They have their own Brig, Mercy, Hog. Um, yeah, again, Winston's kind of wanting to go in there, but he doesn't have anyone who can really support him. Um, I actually like the play of you going up there with him a little bit, and then uh, hopefully you use his bubble to kind of protect you while you kind of go in there and wreak a little havoc nice nice 
Uh, you missed that, but that's okay. That's because your Orisa just wrecked. Uh, that bag should not have let her shield go down in that point, and that's why she died. So now you see they're going into the hotel, the rotating hotel. But it looks like McCree has got that covered. Nice. So a little, little scary over here. Um, Got to be careful rotating around the left side, the far side of this, um, of this uh, thing here. Uh, the statue, I think, is what it's called. Um, just because uh, your shield bash is on cooldown now, so you don't have the mobility. That, that's the only mobility that um, that she has. So, uh, got to be careful um, to. I do this all the time, so I completely understand. But you want to kind of. Be careful with chasing people around the backside of the statue because it leaves you extremely vulnerable um, to the enemy team. So, I like that though. I like that poke. That McCree has me scared that he's going to get picked over there, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, unfortunately, you missed that one. That's okay. Um, this is where you need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, you were pushed up a little too far there. Um, for me personally, when I'm playing Brig, I like to, um, if I'm working with an Orisa or a Reinhardt, um, I like to stay on the inside of their shield and just kind of poke with my flail and stuff out of their shield. Um, I don't like to too often shield bash through my Reinhardt or my Orisa barrier, uh, just because that's your only mobility and you move slower when your shield is up. So you're trying to back away. Um, yeah, it's that was that was unfortunate though. And you recognized it, so it's not like, you know. So let's look at the death cam here real fast. Let's see if I can. Um I wish there was a way I can make this go back like just a few seconds. 12817. Let's go there. Okay. Alright, let's look at the death cam. Let's see what it looks like to the Reinhardt's perspective. Or whoever it was that killed you. Yeah, Reinhardt. So he sees you were a good like 10 meters in front of this Orisa barrier here. Um and yeah, you just you were a little overextended. That's okay though. I mean it's I prefer my brigettes to be more aggressive than not, because there's some that play a little too passive. But yeah, you got you got punished for um for being a little too far forward. And as soon as you die, um, that's when the whole team is kind of collapses. I, I I imagine they collapse here. Yeah, because then he gets that fat shatter right after. Well, actually, maybe not. Okay, looks like you guys stabilized, so that's pretty good. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> You might want to just pop that E on one of your tanks here. Um, I'm a fan of using the uh, the E off cooldown because you do get ult charge off of it pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, it'll, it'll allow um, uh, your Moira to conserve a little bit of their left click. So, yeah. I like that. So you just helped um, basically save your Winston's life there. Um, Orisa's great for peeling your other characters out. So that was a really good play. And then you backed immediately away. So it's like you already learned from your last death. That's, this is where, you know, there's only so much you can do. Because now your E is off cooldown. Um, you can go in there and maybe try and get some passive healing going with your shift or your, your left click. Keep in mind, that's how her passive healing works, is that uh, if you connect with a left click or you connect with left shift, um, it activates her passive healing where she heals a certain amount over 10 seconds or five seconds, I think it is. Um, that may not be enough to save this Winston though. And this is just because this is just poor, um, poor tank selection. Um, by this guy right here he 
he went with a dive character and your entire team is not dive. Your entire team has nothing to do with the dive. And he really, he, he excels in jumping into the enemy, um, do and, but it requires the whole team to be there with him and he doesn't have a team that can do that. So, um, you go in, you try and save him and yeah, it looks like you saved him. So that was, that was good. Um, but yeah, that Winston is. Ooh, okay. I paused her right on your getting hooked here. I don't know. You might be able, it might break LOS here and break the hook, but I don't think so. Um, I like your rally though. Um, again, you're trying to save this Winston who has a death wish. It seems like, um, yeah, this is, this is just tough. Um, you know, he is countered right now as Winston by the bag, by the Rhine, by the Roadhog. He's just, I don't know. This Winston is not being a very effective uh, teammate at the moment with his hero selection. Um, I'm not saying his play is bad, but he should realize that he's probably not on the right hero at this point. So it is what it is. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. You can't, pl there isn't another healer you can play that would help him out more than you already are as Brig right now. So yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, let's see what happens with this hook though. I have a feeling you're going to get hooked into the middle of this mess and you're going to probably die. Unless your Arissa or your uh, McCree pop off, so let's see. Ooh, you get out. Okay, well your rally saved you for sure. Oh, and that just takes practice um, with doing the shield bash. Um, you've missed it a few times, which it's normal. Uh, it just takes practice. S somehow you guys were able to hold that out so that was and that winston yeah that was a good shield bash that was a good shield bash oh oh okay only got the turret I can't, I can't do anything. yeah yeah that's just tough um that was just tough Cause I think, oh, I love playing some Leona. yeah. Leona is like my old school pick when playing playing support. I, mean, I didn't realize that I turned the main guy and was designed a new clan. Okay, so setting up for the second point, I'm not a huge fan of being inside of this room here. Um, main reason. If say Ryan decides to charge in here, um, if they decide to come after you to try and stagger you, you have no one to protect you for one. Cause I don't, I think everyone is spawning. Um, and a, a lot of these people are going to be spawning from the bad spawn from the one all the way in the back. Um, and when you're in this room and you can't go out this door, your only option is to rotate out away from where the rest of your team is going to be um, you can either rotate upstairs where your team will, will probably not be up there um and or, or you you go out to that alley on the side where they can just continue to punish you and stagger you so not a huge fan of being in here because of how bad everyone's spawns are going to be i would rather you um be around on the corner over on this side here. That way you can back up to your team that should be hopefully spawning in by the time the payload starts to come around the bookshop here. So let's see what happens though. Hopefully you don't get punished. Okay, good. You're backing out. Yeah, the way I would I would want you to. This, this little room here is a death trap. Um, I... As a defender, I never like to be in here because it's so easy for the enemy team to just punish you in there um, because it's just not easy to rotate out of that room. I'm out. All right. Okay, so now your team has mostly... Uh, yeah, see, and then... The monkey. Yeah, you know. you. <laughs> yeah. Um, that monkey is, is just... Yeah, I, I mean, he basically was in that alley over on the side and just 
completely separated from the rest of the team and got punished for it. And now he's going to stagger. And now it's going to be a 5v6 here. So this, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And they are, they are busting down uh, your Orisa barrier so fast. Run away. It's coming for you, friend. I'm not sure who that is up there, but whoever it is, they're probably going to die and then leave you once again in a 5v6 situation. Who is that? Oh, it's your soldier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, sort of worked out. I can't get to monkey. Yeah, that monkey, he's playing dive with a team full of non-divers. It's... It's unfortunate. It's when people just get stubborn and they, they maybe monkey's the only tank that he ever has played, but yeah, it's, yeah, it sucks. But what I will say that you are doing a very good job of, um, is you are picking and choosing your healing battles. So you're not getting stuck out in the middle of nowhere with your monkey. Um, no point in going down there with a so just to save him oh, um that's a that's something i oftentimes have to tell my friends that are also healer mains don't heal somebody who isn't contributing at all to you know the fight um that monkey right now is not contributing much other than as a distraction and oh that was that was a good shield bash that was a good shield bash all right Yep, keep using that Winston bubble to protect you. That's good. Oh, oh nice, oh, nice, nice. There you go. That was good. That was a good fight. Nice job stabilizing. Yeah, I got burnt out as well. And that monkey is once again trying to, by himself, yeah, go... Yeah, they're in front. What you do? I like it. I like it. You backed up behind the Orisa barrier. That was very good. Get the monkey. <laughs> get me out, get me out. That monkey. So this should be the last fight. If they win this fight, they get the second point. If they don't win it, um, it should go to attack. So let's see what happens here. Uh, oh, no! big nice slam. Shield. That was a good shield, oh. but that might not save you all. You're now... Oh, what? What? I didn't mean to mute it. Yeah, you're down three or four. They rezzed one, so I think it's like a... You're like in a three or four V1 right now. Yeah, yep, yeah, there it is. Well... Oh, we still contesting? Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Contest till you're dead. <laughs> Yeah. I'm so upset at all, but I don't think they got that. It's fine. We've only got a minute. That was pretty good, though. You died on point for the most part. Um, so did your Winston and your uh, Moira. So um, you ate some time off there. You gave your team some time to respawn. So um, yeah, hopefully they don't snowball this, though. Hopefully they didn't build up too much ult charge. And. Um, Something that you should probably do more often is I haven't seen you press the tab key in pretty much this entire game. So, um, I, I mean, as Brig, it's less important to keep track of your own team's um, ults just from the sheer fact that you're not necessarily the shot caller for the team. Um, and you're not, you don't necessarily have anything that combos. Um, but it's it's a good thing to keep an eye on because it can also help you track the ults for the enemy team. 
because uh, generally speaking, like Orisa should probably build her ult just about as fast as Ryan does and things like that. So, um, yeah. Okay, good job playing behind the Orisa share. Oh. Oh, yeah, that you, was you, really bad for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, really you, you, you shield bash that that wall real good, but um, that's okay. Again, it takes some practice with her. It takes a lot of practice to kind of get that shield bash mechanic down, Pat. Now, with forty-five seconds left, you win one fight, and you should go into like a. Uh, a stagger fest until overtime. So if you can just win one fight, you got this. And right now everyone's Oh god, that monkey. We'll see how it goes though. There you go. Nice rally. You got most of your team with you. Your Moira should come to you though and get that that armor as well. So Let's see how it goes. Good job using the Orisa shield. Oh shit. No. No. Gets being really bloody aggressive. Dang it. Oh man, yeah, they that shatter was huge. Um, they're just taking advantage of the fact that this monkey is not watching his his sectors, but it looks like you guys stabilized, so that's good. Now they're running a May to kind of try and stall this out, I guess. Kind of weird. Nice stun bash that oh, kept him yeah. from being able to touch. So, all right, not a bad round. Um, there was just a few positional mistakes that that cost a couple of fights, but I mean, I suggest someone to um, eight percent time tilts and make some salt. Yeah, I didn't say in voice chat, so. All right, so, so it looks sure like. Much, thank you. Okay. So you want to talk to Diva. E. Oh. oh, there we go. <laughs> so that's I don't and I know I've mentioned this before um in your stream. I'm just going to try and this makes attitude does taint uh, competitive games a lot. Wait a second. What did I do? No, the community just goes just go to one. Here we go. Diva. So, you notice how your mouse is right here on the screen? But it, it thinks it's like down here or something. Oh. You notice that? It's like it's offset yeah. by like <laughs> four inches. It's kind of weird. Just, yeah. All right. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, it's all right. So you want Diva. Yeah, competitive games a lot. Let's see if you guys get yourselves some healers. All right, so you got a Zed. Hopefully, somebody goes Mercy or Moira or something. Nope, they went Bastion. Oh boy. Okay, no, they. Okay, so. Yeah, Mike's okay. Uh, so if they've got a brig, then yeah. But it looks like we're kind of going. Solo heals. All right, so yeah, I e uh, um, you are going dive. Um, if they go with a brick again, it might, it might not turn out so well. Um, just depends on how good the brick is though. The, this guy who is Torb, who's now Bastion. Um, I, I, I don't know. He, he seems like he's more inclined to just do whatever he wants to do. And unfortunately you've got to kind of play around that a little bit. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, Sombra can, the, the health pack situation on first point King's row Sombra can work because you've got the health pack on that, um, that lobby on the right. You've got the health pack in the hotel on the left. Um, and you got the health pack he can hack, um, by the statue. So, um, it could provide enough healing with a Moira. It just depends as long as this is a Moira that likes to use left click balls rather than right click balls, um, hopefully she can keep you guys up. Otherwise, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is this is going to be a weird one. <laughs> Welcome to the dive meta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're recognizing this, so we'll see how this goes. I know your diva's really good. I know she's like your main, so. 
I'll be uh, I'll be happy to see how you roll this out with uh, um, yeah, and this guy. See, and this guy is expecting everyone to just do whatever to play around what he wants to play. So I don't know. It's kind of meh. It is what it is. Don't worry about it. Okay. E Ooh. Okay. That was. So you used up your entire defense matrix before the doors even opened. Uh, that's pro. That 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 could have cost some. We'll see if it costs you anything, and see if you can charge it back up. But, um, yeah, you might want to be careful on that next time. Hello. Okay. Got a sim. I don't see a break. Mega spots on the right. Okay. I don't think they've got a break. Alright, so from here you can tell that it looks like they don't have a brig, so they don't have an anti-dive. Um what should be happening is you guys should be abusing the high ground because they can't go up to the high ground to get you. Um so I'm kind of thinking it may not be a bad idea for you to um, jump up on those ledges on the top right side, um, kind of scout out the enemy a little bit, kind of harass them with your micro missiles, um, just kind of poke at them. Uh, staying in this choke, I'm not a huge fan of with a, with a dive tank kind of combination. I know that you want to kind of probably try and protect your Bastion, but at this point, he's kind of on his own if he wants to play bastion in with these kinds of tanks he deserves to die that's kind of my philosophy on that unfortunately um and yeah yeah but you have a genji and the genji can go high ground with you guys as well so um we'll see we'll see how this goes um and you also have sombra sombra can go up to the high grounds as well with a translocator and stuff so um yeah i mean that's your strengths yeah, right now um, you're d you kind of DM'd a little too much there, I think. Let me back this up just a little bit. All right, so the May Wall's gonna come up here. Yep, and then you're holding. Okay, you're shooting, shooting, shooting. Yeah, you have no DM left, so you're. This is where I know you want to be aggressive, but it's like, oh jeez. Yeah. All right. So thankfully that is hacked. Excuse me, madam. Uh, you missed the Moira ball over there. That was unfortunate. That would have been a good thing to DM. Oh, that Ryan's oh, one. Nice. One. Uh, oh, and the Mercy no. tried to go for the cheeky res. Hey, I think you guys are gonna get this. Oh, oh. You're low. Looks like you're gonna get this though. Ooh. Oh god, that was a. The roll oh, there you go. Should be pretty dang easy to die. Yeah, my my screen that was really low. Not really low. That was pretty good. That was nice. Nice job. Nice use of the DM there. That was very good. Eating that fire strike for breakfast. Oh wow. Jeez, what's going on? Those guys got staggered like crazy, so that was good. I I'm free to All right, so yeah, cool. Got You've got a, the uh, you yeah, got the EMP yeah. diva bomb oh, combo it. ready to go. So that's that's exciting. I've got ult now, Kyle. Okay, we'll wait. We'll see what we can do. Do you have a, a way to? Got free on the point. Oh god. Nope, never mind. Okay, yeah, you used all your DM there. Now you have none for this next fight. Um, just got to be careful. I, you DM a little too much sometimes there. Um, I am a... And that's good. That's good. You're punishing the Ryan for being way out of position. That was good. Um, but you're kind of using your DM like the old D.Va, where she just had like what felt like an unlimited amount of DM. 
Um, say for EMP and uh, whatever. Like, I don't know what you just DM'd right there. So you, be careful with that because now you don't have your DM that was, you didn't have your DM available oh, for yeah. Hi. the uh, those Ferro rockets that were coming in. So um, just be careful with that. Um, nice. One of my favorite uh, D.Va players, uh, Emong, he says that he will always try and, and keep his DM available for burst damage. So like another D.Va's micro missiles or um, maybe an ult like a, like a, um, oh, he uses it all the time on Hanzo's. If you hear that sound that he makes when he's going to do his storm arrows, he'll save his DM for that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, just just be careful. I, I know I'm as guilty I'm as anyone when it comes to using my DM too much. But this is going. That was big. You got their Arissa and who's contesting? Someone's contesting. Nope. Well, That's a GG's. Guys. Kind of a roll. Looks like a GG. Nice job working around the tour, Bastion and the Winston. Yeah. Thank you, Apple. <laughs> so, oh, it's like you it's like you knew I was going to review this game and you thanked me already on stream. Um so that was good. Uh that was a that was uh that was a fun one to review. Um I mean, it, it's obvious that you are on a skill level very close to where I'm at as, on a skill level and it explains why we're both in plat. Um and I was in gold for a little bit this season as well. Um, hopefully I'll get back up to diamond at some point, maybe at the end of the season. So, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, it was unfortunate that you had to kind of work around your, your, your very inflexible team. So, um, it all worked out in the end though. So that's kind of how gold and plat is. Um, bad comps can win games, um, in this, in this uh, rank, uh, just all it takes is somebody to pop off or all it takes is the enemy team to just have a bad day. So, um, yeah, yeah. So that was a good game. That was fun to watch. Um, yeah, I need to, uh, maybe, uh, see if any of those other games are uh, good ones to, um, and that were in your stream, that would be good to review. Um, I think you had a Zen game that you ended up switching to a bunch of other heroes and it was like on, was it Dorado and it went like three or four rounds. So that might be a fun one to review. Um, but I appreciate you uh, sending me your VOD so I can review it and I can, you know, give you my insights. Um, and, uh, just keep practicing, keep doing your thing. And, uh, uh, generally speaking, I didn't see a ton of mistakes. It just sucks though that, um, those few mistakes I found are what cost you some of those fights. Um, and, it, and that's, but that's how you're going to get better. You're going to recognize those. And I noticed that you recognize those mistakes, um, uh, mid game because after you died on Brigette on that first point, you immediately started to play a little bit more passive. You were staying behind the Orissa barrier. Um, you were taking less risks with trying to save your Winston who was, not learning from his mistakes so that was good that was good um but anyway i hope you enjoyed that uh i will leave a link below to our good friend unique dreams twitch so feel free to drop her a follow uh if you enjoy her content drop her a sub i'll of course drop a link to my twitch as well um where i mostly play a lot of competitive overwatch um and i like to kind of experiment with heroes i don't play with too often this season i've been playing a lot of zarya a little bit of ryan um a little bit of brig and i'm still playing quite a bit of moira and zen um since those two are kind of my mains but uh it's been a really fun season to try and learn some of the other heroes so anyway y'all have a great one i'll see you on the next review and i have no punchline so i'm just gonna end it there bye